So unlike other uh, radar target simulators, we don't produce our own target. We don't produce our own signal. What we do is we replicate the propagation path that the, the actual radar pulse sees in real life. So we, we take that pulse and we add four features. We add the delay associated with the, with the propagation path. We add the loss associated with that delay. We also add a, a Doppler shift to the, the radar signal. This is the actual radar signal that's produced by the, uh, the user's radar. We add a Doppler shift to that, um, that signal that's associated with the velocity of the target up to hypersonic speeds of 5,000 miles per hour. And then, of course, we add the, uh, the loss associated with the radar target cross-section. So small targets produce a lot of loss. Large targets, not so much uh, uh, loss. And uh, the actual path that you'd expect to see in the real world when you're using the radar uh, uh, is what we reproduce in this in this instrument. So, so the way this instrument is used, uh, the the uh, the customer will will create a scenario associated with uh, a, a target path. So it could be an aircraft, it could be a uh, a land target, uh, but the things associated with that path are the distance from the radar. How fast is the target moving, and how how big is it? How much of a reflection that it is it is produced? So from this front panel, the user can uh, go in and select a uh, a scenario that they want to run, and that scenario is then loaded into this table. There's a preamble associated with the uh, with the scenario that includes things like uh, the radar, uh, the expected radar uh, signature, how. How wide is the pulse? What's the pulse repetition rate? Uh, information that will be used by the system to detect the pulse and allow the system to change states during uh, or in between the radar pulses. So these changes are invisible to the, to the radar itself because they're occurring in between the pulses. So once the scenario is loaded, it can be armed. And then it's triggered either from a detected radar pulse, so our system will monitor the, the, the input and when it sees that first radar pulse it will trigger the scenario or it can be triggered uh, externally uh, from some uh, information coming from the, the radar system itself. Uh, in addition to monitoring the uh, radar pulse for triggering purposes, it also measures and records all of the radar signal pulses throughout the entire scenario and can and reports on, on that information after during and after the test so once the test is over uh, the user can review that data and compare it to what it's asked the system uh, to do but then it can also look at uh, what we report in terms of what the 1107 does during the uh, during the scenario so the the scenario is programmed but it's also monitoring the status of the system while the scenario is executing so then the customer can look at both of those pieces of information look at both of those lists of data and make sure that their their system is operating properly and also we're uh, detecting it properly. So a couple of the features uh, of this system, um, it has a cal self calibration mode where it runs through a self test at the beginning of each uh, scenario execution to make sure that the 1107 is operating properly. There's a uh, next level of calibration that allows the instrument to be calibrated using a NIST traceable standard. Um, but to do a lot of these measurements, there's an onboard spectrum analyzer that operates over the whole bandwidth um, and is available for, for use uh, as a standalone spectrum analyzer. So you can uh, look at input uh, signal levels and spectrum, output signal levels and spectrum. Uh, and all of that information can not only be displayed, it can also be recorded. So that's selected down here uh, with this signal analyzer button. Um, and you switch back and forth between signal analyzer and scenario graph. The scenario graph just shows what uh, um, distance and target velocity the program, uh, the scenario is programmed to execute and the uh, spectrum analyzer mode will show, or the signal analyzer mode will show the actual spectrum of the recorded radar input signal. It can also be switched to the output as well.